Okay, so welcome to potentially part three of Destiny 2 Forsaken. And uh, as as promised last episode, we said that we're going to complete the five bounties, which I have now. And uh, I've taken the opportunity to uh, test out the bow, which seems to be uh, rather pleasant, actually. I thought it was going to be really fidgety, but uh, I think in terms of feeling on using the bow, it feels very much like a hand cannon. Uh, only the zoom is a little bit closer. I can't quite describe it fully, but uh, in short, it actually takes a very, very short time to get used to, and it feels rather good. So it's definitely like a. I I think I haven't tested it yet, but in PvP, I reckon it'll be a one-shot headshot thing. So uh, I'm I intend to use it in you know in the upcoming mission a little bit if it doesn't work as well as um, midnight coop then i'll switch it back but it turns out to be all right so uh anyway without further ado let's continue now we are friends and i take friendship seriously <laughs> very seriously Now, don't look at me like that. I would never ask you to do something that wasn't in your own interest, too. <laughs> Remember that. So, to business. I will supply you with the Baron's location, with which I am quite familiar, as it was until recently. Mine. Okay, that's it. Let's talk to Petra. The spider gave us a chance to kill them all. One fell swoop. And if Aldrin's there too, even better. The traitor prince will not survive us. Okay, so we need to take out some barons now. Um, or barons. Follow up on spider's tip. What does that mean? Let me have a look. Um, is there like follow up on spider's tips? Uh, what tip? Let's talk to him again. Here for a favor. It just says like bounties and stuff, it doesn't actually say where. So, Until maybe I have a look at the world map. Let, let's have a let's have a look see what we have here. Petra, spider, forsaken. So, okay, spider safe house, tangle shore. So we just need to start this mission. There must, there must be a marker somewhere. Is this it? Huh. Well, quick and painless, I guess. It was just right next to us. Okay, here we go. Scorned. Assault the Baron's hideout. The out for blood. But we're here for justice. Aren't we? Anyway, yeah. let's hope Spider's tip about Aldrin and the Baron's location is solid. This territory was once mine. In the relocation, I was forced to leave some valuables behind. A proposition, friend. Retrieve my caches, and I will make it worth your while. Yep, so um, in terms of, you know, aiming the bow and stuff, it really is as simple as aiming the dot next to the um, next to the head, and it pretty much is just headshot, headshot, headshot. I'm not sure how and why it's so easy, but I'm guessing it has potentially something to do with the... Um, it has something to do with the accuracy perk, so um, in short, the higher the accuracy, maybe the better the aim assist. Now, um, this is just a bit of a speculation, so I have no idea how this would work, but I, I sure hope it's as easy as that, because that just makes the bow so much more fun to use. Now, um, the th one thing that I'm not sure of is how to cancel the bow action, so... When you, like, draw a string or something, you can't actually cancel it, so you end up wasting an ammo. So, I'm just gonna see what, how... Now, with the delayed 
explosion, you don't actually, well, I technically don't actually need to, you know, get a headshot every time, but it's just more fun, right? So, yeah, you can hit fire. Oh, crap. You can hit fire, and it will still work, but the explosion only works if you attach it, if you attach the arrow to to body. Now, this is probably only apply, uh, something that only applies to this bow, because all the other perks are random, but um, if you hit fire, the range actually, well, it's relatively short, so you can use it for, I don't know, close range combat, but it wouldn't be as effective. No way it would, oh crap, cash is retrieved. So we need to retrieve the cash as well. Is it this one? Excellent. That's one. Oh. So yeah, if you aim the bow just a little bit higher up, uh, there's a really good tolerance on uh, on headshots in particular. So if it's just like really close to the head, it will still count as a headshot. Which I think, um, I could be wrong, but I'm really hoping this won't get abused in PvP. What am I talking about? It's going to get abused in PvP. If this if this really is how how simple it works, I mean look at this. It's it's just headshot. Like nine times out of ten. You won't even have to worry about like this is See oh that's Baron, that's a Baron. Excuse me. Uh, oh, uh, typical, typical stuff where the Baron just disappears, hey? So this is pretty, so you can just kind of tap, really simple, um, and then it would just, oh, that, that's actually not fallen. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of tap it and it will automatically kind of shoot it for you so it's I don't know man it I thought it would require a little bit more skill to use I really like how easy it is but at the same time that I shouldn't be able to get headshots this easily or at least precision shot it could be that you know bows have a slightly different I mean that honestly it cannot be this easy uh, are we going up? Oh my god, I can't jump. I can't jump! Is it up? Sure it isn't. So it's this way. But yeah, um, <clears throat> if I had to like give a verdict on the bow so far, I would say really fun to use. But at the same time, um, a little bit worried on how easy it is to use. If that makes sense. Let's see, where are we? He oh, down here. Right, okay. Thought we had to do some jumping puzzles, you know, bungee. Right? Oh, excuse me. No, well, let's let's try a little bit of um. Oh, these guys have shields. Are you kidding me? Shields and the health regen. Okay, so so let's try using the bow again. See, headshot. Okay, that one wasn't a headshot. Uh, aerial, aerial wise, let's, you can still jump, and there is a small, there is a small, I don't know, uh, difference between, yeah, I don't know how to cancel the bow action, once you draw, once you draw the string, it seems like that's it, but, um, yeah, there is a small, mm, what's the word? There is a little bit of penalty in terms of aerial accuracy, so once you jumped into the air, that's pretty much it. So you kind of uh, you have less than fifty chance of fifty percent chance of actually hitting a target. But if you think about the um, okay, so I think I think I figured this um, just figure something out. So the actual at damage of the headshot is dependent on how far you have uh, you. You draw the string back, 
so if I draw the string like halfway through, the damage is nowhere near the same amount as if I drew the... Um, even though it still counts as a precision shot, the damage actually uh, is proportional to how far you draw the string. So that's good. But would that imply, potentially, that you can get different damage output in a Crucible? So it may not be like a one-shot headshot if you don't draw it all the way back? That's, that could be an interesting thing. I can see a lot of people like going to try this. Alright, let's do some auto rifle shooting because um, this is easier in a crowded situation. Whereas the bow really is just something to do like long distance like this, which is like one shot and that's it. Which is really nice. Might be able to say that, yeah, that's that's like one one hit kill. I'm actually really enjoying using the bow at the moment. Anything else? I mean, It'd be nice to know how to actually cancel the draw. Maybe those are where I haven't, I just haven't figured that out yet. Okay, so I think we're good to go here. <laughs> are you trying to? Are you trying to compete with my sleeper? Okay, so, so far so good, but I only have four shots of sleeper left. We lost one of your guys. <laughs> the cost of doing business, my friend. Do not let it trouble you. Transmatting cash. Oh well, of course there's a walker. Probably should use a little bit of my auto rifle. Now I'm going to see whether there's um I need to get rid of some of these first. Wow. Holy cow. Is that really how much damage it was doing? To a walker? I mean this bow is arguably ridiculously good at this stage of the game shouldn't should it be this good what would the other bows be like once you get like random rolls and that stuff I mean I'm getting headshot left right center Shot. Although I am actually rich <sighs> ammo is going down quite quickly. There is a uh, scorch cannon on the other side. Might be able to utilize that. Why am I using it? Why am why the hell am I using a bow and arrow? You know, against a spider tank. It makes no sense. Why don't I just go there and pick up Scorch Cannon? Let's go, baby. Let's do this, yo. Maybe sprinting is the key. It's 
sprinting might be able to, you know, temporarily cancel out the the drawstring. That could be what we need. All right, let me just uh, grab hold of that scotch cannon. Yeah, that's what we need. Ah, oh, really? Come on, can I not go in? Whoa. Okay, not good. I'm gonna try and save the sleeper or some other stuff. Like later on maybe. I'm definitely not using the sleeper all on everything now. Take a grenade. Uh, that's not going to kill it though. I've got seven shots. I need a slightly higher point in order to aim for the weakness. There we go. Okay, not bad. 70 minutes in, we defeated like Crapton of. Uh, is it called Ravengers? Uh, or. I, I don't know. It kind of looked like Ravengers when I saw it on the screen. And defeated the Spider Tank. Uh, shot a lot of arrows. Hopefully, you guys got to see like um, how the bow works and stuff. Um, so far, I really enjoy using it. There's a new type of enemy, this one. Don't know what it is, I'm just gonna kill it. There we go. Headshot! Headshot! Not bad. Okay, so they've got a shield, but they also have... They also have a handgun? This is strange. Well, let's get that heavy ammo. Need that heavy. Good stuff. Again, you just see that how easy it is to get headshot with the bow. I need another spider cache. Okay, so we have another spider cache, and if we have officially entered a no respawn zone, which is good. This is what we want. I'm gonna see whether I can like do a lot of uh, do a lot of bow action here. Okay, that's definitely a trap, which is nice. This is not good. The reason I say it's not good is because I just remembered that I may have forgotten to change my weapons, uh, sorry, the exotic armor pieces back. So uh, I, that tether was like completely wasted because I didn't get any of my super back. Let's cheese this a little bit and just stop here for a while. I need to wear my obvious rig bag rather than using the I'm getting attacked. That's okay though. I have enough time. There we go. Oh, it's not too bad actually. I thought I'd be uh I thought there'd be more enemies around here. Ooh, they do hurt a little bit. Oh, 
okay. So not too not too bad. It's like phased, so you get to you gotta go through one enemy after another instead. Uh, let's have a look at what's on this side, shall we? Lots of interesting stuff. Um, what's on here? I really like this. I I really like this theme. I can't really say it's like steampunk, but it's like um, post-apocalyptic. That's it. It's even for like Destiny, it's like post-apocalyptic. Maybe for Fallen, it will make more sense. Am I supposed to go through here? Am I supposed to? No. Here we go. Jumping puzzles. I know Bungie wouldn't disappoint. Bungie never disappoints us with a jumping puzzle. Got it. Right, let's see whether I can actually damage this guy. Wow. Okay. You mean business, sir. I like you. Me likey. Okay, so he teleports. Please is King Aldrin. Excuse me. Defeat my scorn, my siblings, and my father all at once. You think yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can take you on. Where K6 failed. Quite possibly. Oh. Kill the fallen. I claim it as scorn. Kill the scorn. I raise ten more. Ah, uh, why do all bad these just aim to kind of overwhelm with con quantity? Okay, so we've got some traps here that you. I I reckon it's like a little tutorial to show you potentially how some of the mechanics in the strikes or maybe even raid on how they will function so these things could be important I do not need barons to slaughter you my scorn will be enough to end you I like your confidence at least Okay, so Scorn of the Fanatics, that's the one that we need to deal with, I imagine. Rise, my scorn. Give this dead thief its Correct. And they all disappeared. But it did say defeat the fanatic, so I'm guessing we still need to defeat the fanatic. Let me have a look whether there are any other stuff over here. So I still have seven shots of sleepers available. This could actually play in my favor. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Reserve a bit of ammo on this. Do I just go? Do I go to him? Really? I do not fear the dead. I control death, and you are used to me alive. Go pursue your vengeance. I claim your fallen victims for my score. Stronghold is secure, but the Barons escaped. This was our best shot at ending this, and now they've scattered. What are we gonna do now? Anguish tenfold. Uh, mission scorned, complete mission scorned. Okay, so not bad. Uh, that's the end of this particular mission. Uh, I'm guessing we're now going to do some of the side missions before we can continue. <laughs> well, you really showed them, didn't you? Piece of advice, eh? Oh, 
your enemy before you deal with them. Rexis Vaughn, the hangman. The silent sadist used to dock the arms of dregs with his bare hands. Canix, the mad bomber, emphasis on man. Demolitions expert with an irritating way about him. The trickster, Araskis. A liar and a schemer. Friendly advice. Trust nothing she touches. Hyrax, the mind bender, has a rep for manipulation, has a morbid obsession with the hive. Yavix, aka the rider, the leader of a bombastic gang of pike riding heathens. They sow chaos everywhere they ride. The rifleman, Pierre Han, the only fallen alive who can make the shot that mortifies Cade Saints. The Lycris, the machines, the scourge of soulless descent. This one sits atop a trove of tech and heavy armament stolen from me. The fanatic himself, Fekbrul, the leader of the Barons, and the first of the scorn. This dark magic has no place on my shore. No place. Last, and most certainly least, Aldrin Sov. Traitor to his people, and the man who pulled the trigger. He may be in the wind, but his barons are ripe for the picking. Divide, conquer, isolate Aldrin. He'll wind up at your feet, and all you have to do is pull the trigger. I think that potentially means we have, well, at least, was it eight barons that we need to defeat? So that's eight side missions. Or maybe we need to defeat them like in the open world. So I, I'd i expect them to be scattered around. I hope they're like all story missions. So that would be like a huge thing. Um, so eight different bosses eight different ways to tackle them uh, and and then finally you need to deal with Aldrin uh, himself so that would be amazing if that's what really what it implies but I don't know I don't know yet hmm. what can I do so let's see what's going on uh, so we we've got nothing with uh, her and we have do we have any dialogues even the great hero of the red war has limits. Eight barons and an awoken prince. <laughs> and only one of you. I so dislike betting on the underdog. But you are resourceful. And you do have the queenless queen's wrath in your corner. Oh, you've talked me into it. <laughs> Our friendship shall continue. Pursue your vengeance. When the shore is a bit less crowded, we will speak again of favors. Okay, so we need to stalk the Tangle Shell for those who defeated the legendary Vanguard Hunter. Uh, we need to do six little Baron Hunter ventures, so if we accept that, let's see what that actually adds. With, excuse me. <clears throat> Return to Petra under Tangle Shore, so let, let's see what we do. Before we end the video, I want to see where we're heading. Cade's killers are still out there, but the hunt is not over. You take down the barons, thin the herd. As for Aldrin, did you see that awoken spire when you landed here? It's called the Watchtower. I shouldn't be telling you this, but my people's greatest secrets lie beyond that spire. There's no other reason Aldrin would come to the Tangled Shore. Sooner or later, he will go to the Watchtower. We must stop him before that happens. Good hunting. Okay, so uh, the information after we, I'm guessing, like, hung down the Barons would uh, reveal itself, I guess. Uh, to track down all of them one by one. So if we accept that, is the the Ragged Valley Sprint that <laughs> it disappeared way too quick. I can't read it. So it just has to defeat the Barons on the Tangled Shore. It doesn't say where. Let me Watch have a look at the map. The Maybe it will show us something. Ah, look at this. So 
I think the hunt's going to happen all around here. Don't lose Target's time. recommended at 390, 430, look at this, 440, 400, 420. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to tackle these one by one according to power level. Because uh, right now we still haven't infused anything uh, on our uh, little character. So on the bow side we've got 410 on 410, uh, which is the highest, really. I'm not sure whether there's... Um, I'm not sure whether this is actually the soft cap. Now, this is a soft cap could be 500. That would be too easy, right? So if the soft cap is at 410, imagine that. You have to grind all the way to 500. And that's not even the top. 600 is like the max. So let's see. 411. So that's not bad. 4399. Okay, so maybe we actually need to spend like a... Um, more of these money to get to why do i have a thousand silver <laughs> anyway so yeah maybe we need to start actually infusing some of these stuff now uh i do know that infusing has changed so in order to get the infusion to work like uh, it's not going to work here because the base power is too low but you can see that it requires a lot more material now so it requires 25 of the planetary material 9000 glimmer to actually try and view something so if i if that is already at the best it can do with 410 and stuff i need to start infusing some of these to boost my power level i'm 393 and i don't think i can actually do any of those missions right now out there uh three okay we can do that one but then 430 i think that'll be outside my comfort zone here. 400 maybe we can tackle 402 okay so all right next part of the video will involved will involve me tackling one of the barons at least the lowest power one uh hopefully i won't have to start infusing stuff i want to save everything and try to infuse only if i have to uh, which means that the game will be played the way it is like it's it's equal power between you and the boss and it makes the fights a lot more intense if you enjoy this and want to keep watching just let me know and i'll keep dropping these videos so yeah thanks very much for watching i shall see you very soon